Hi friends, a warm welcome back to our channel. I am Chanda Mama. This is your Chanda Mama bringing you a new story in this video. Balrama to the rescue published by Adarsh Chitrakatha. So let's move towards the story in this video. So before moving to the story, let's go to the introduction about the story. The human mind, which is like a mischievous monkey, does not get annihilated merely by the death of the physical body. The process of evolution continues till the mind is purified and gets melted and merged in the absolute. In an hidden significance, the Pandavas and the Kauravas are two opposing forces, the positive and the negative, one weighing the other for supremacy. For example, to give an instance in practical life, the maintenance of health in the body depends on the positive forces working in the mind, represented by the Pandavas, while ill health is due to preponderance of the negative forces symbolized by the Kauravas. The ultimate outcome of human life is unfortunately insecure when we fall victim to the negative forces. It is then that the arrogance, greed, wickedness, etc. assert themselves in spite of the repeated adominations of the divine law. Balarama and Krishna are the manifestations of the supreme being who remain impartial to the natural forces of the world. But their hidden presence in every yuga is the determining factor of every event that takes place anywhere. And that event is according to the law of justice. As one sows, so shall one reap. Though the Kauravas are humbled by Balarama, and when the purpose of Krishna's peacemaking mission to Hastinapura is not understood by an arrogant mind, ignorant mind, the Mahabharata war becomes inevitable experience in the consciousness of every individual. This is the immortal essence of the two episodes of the Bhagavata Purana, which is represented or depicted in this other Chitrakatha story. So moving forward, Let's continue towards the story. Balarama had once come for a holiday to Mount Raivataka with his wife and companions. Balarama finds a spot and tells, Ah, this is a fine spot. Let us sit here. It is peaceful, shady and quiet. Suddenly, a huge monkey appeared on the tree below which Balarama sat. Oh! It is the brother of Krishna that while Yadava, who slew my best friend Naragasura, thought the monkey. I could not have come to a better place to carry out my mission of vengeance, said the monkey. I'll irritate him and exasperate him till he gets annoyed and picks up a quarrel with me, said the monkey. Dvivida, the monkey, shook the branches of the tree till the leaves fell over Balrama and his companions. Balrama was shocked. So, and he thought, what a nuisance. How dare he intrude? Ah, I have succeeded. He is annoyed. He will soon try to attack me, said the monkey, thinking in his mind. And Balrama threw a big stone. That should chase him away, thought Balarama. Instead, before Balarama could realize what was happening, the monkey snatched a jar of wine near Balarama and running to a safe distance and dashed it to the ground. Balarama was furious. Who is that insolent wretch? He is no ordinary monkey. He is Dvivida a friend of Narakasura, said the companions of Balarama. And then the companions told, when Krishna slew Narakasura, Dvivida swore that he would wreak vengeance on him and all his clan. And he began by setting fire to the cities, villages and hamlets of the milkmen. 
then uprooting whole mountain he would hurl them at the city instantly crushing it to dust along with the inhabitants sometimes he would enter into the ocean disturb the water and flood the cities on its shores he would destroy the trees in the hermitages of the sages and disturb their sacrifices at other times he would seize unsuspecting men and women and throw them into the caves and block the entrance with huge boulders balarama was enraged enough why didn't you let either krishna or me know earlier you were busy elsewhere besides dvivida never remains in one place for long he comes and goes like a hurricane look out said balarama balarama saw the monkey having a tree in his hand and trying to attack balarama as balarama grabbed his mace and plow share dvivida brought the tree down on his head but brushing it away as if it was a mere feather balarama swung out with his mace ignoring the pain vivida uprooted another tree and tried to attack balarama but balarama deftly warded off with the blow with his mace enraged vivida picked up a huge boulder now in his hand and hurled it at balarama but it met with the same fate as the trees trees and boulders are useless against that mace i will use my bare hands thought the monkey dvivida when balarama saw him charging with clenched fists he threw aside his mace and plow share i too shall use bare hands and the next moment the quarrel started the blow proved dvivida fatal dvivida felt dead come let us go back to our merry making i'll spend a few more days here and then return to dwarka said balarama to his meanwhile at hastinapura the city of the kauravas the swayambara of lakshmana duryodhana's daughter was in full swing suddenly as if from nowhere sambha the son of krishna and jambavati an uninvited guest swooped on the assembly and seized the bride and to the horror of all he carried her away saguni turned to duryodhana how dare he touch a princess follow the arrogant boy and capture him we will bring him back said the ministers and duryodhana with his trusted warriors gave a chase when they caught up with him i'll turn round and face them said the son of krishna suddenly he is going to fight them for me thought the bride before they could realize what was happening he shot down their horses and then their chariots for a moment the older warriors stood admiring the boy what an excellent archer his valor and courage are remarkable in one so young said the ministers then under karna's leadership they were cut off the reins of his horses shot his charioteer and cut his bow all with well aimed arrows then pulling him out of the chariot with great difficulty they bound him with ropes and returned to hastinapura with the triumph our warriors have returned said the ministers we got him here is and here is lakshmana they have captured that boy sage narada who had come to visit hastinapura was shocked when he saw the face of the prisoner but isn't that samba the son of krishna and jambavati asked narada to the ministers yes it is the son of that coward had the audacity to carry away a kaurava princess told the minister he will meet the fate he deserves as our prisoner now sage narada thinks oh ho i must make a haste and carry the news to dwarka a little later sage narada said i must take a leave of you now i suddenly realized i have an urgent matter to attend to 
said Narada to the king and left. As soon as Narada was out of earshot, the urgent matter must be carrying the news of Samba's defeat to Dwaraka. Good, that will bring the Yadavas here and we can inflict on them an humiliation they deserve. When Narada reached Dwarka, Uddhava, where is Krishna and Balarama? It was Urgasena, the aged king, who answered his question. Balarama is at Trivataka and Krishna is away fighting the Poundraka. Oh, said Narada. Why? What is the matter? You look as if you have come with your bad news, asked Urgasena to Narada. I do. The Kauravas have captured Samba and held him as a prisoner. Alas, if only the boy had not set his heart on winning Lakshmana. Anyway, I cannot wait for Balarama and Krishna to return. We'll have to go to Hastinapura and rescue Samba, said King Urgasena. And Urgasena ordered, bring out your chariots, rally for our men. We shall attack Hastinapura, said King Urgasena to his fighters. The Yadavas brought out their war weapons, war elephants and chariots. Alas, without Balarama or Krishna to lead us, what hope of success do we have, said one of the ministers. When the preparations for the battle was in full swing, success against whom? Who are you going to fight with? It's Balarama. He is back, said the ministers. Balarama is back. Hearing the commotion, Ugrasena and Uddhava came out. Ah, Balarama, you are back just in time. And he told the whole story to Balarama. After Balarama had heard him out, I am not in favor of a fight with Kauravas. I think the matter can be settled peacefully. After all, Duryodhana was my pupil and I was his guru, said Balarama. Besides, they are related to us by marriage. I'll go to Hastinapura and speak to them. You come with me, Uddhava, said Balarama. Taking a few Brahmanas and some of the Yadava elders, Balarama and Uddhava left for Hastinapura. When they reached outskirts of the city, we'll camp here, Uddhava. You go alone to Dhritarashtra and inform about us arrival. Kunti, the auntie of Kauravas, was the sister of Vasudeva, the father of Balarama and Krishna. As soon as Uddhava entered the Sabha hall of the Kauravas, isn't that Uddhava the best friend of dear Balarama? asked the ministers. Welcome Uddhava, what brings you here? Balarama has come to Hastinapura. He is camping outside the city. So overjoyed were the Kauravas, the hero of their beloved Balarama's arrival, that they forgot to inquire what brought him here. Come, let us go and meet him, said the Kauravas. When they stood before Balarama, you do us great honor. Is all well with you? To their surprise, Balarama's face was without a smile. How can all be well? You have defeated and captured a virtuous youth in an unfair fight. Six of you against him alone. You ought to be ashamed, said Balarama. We have not declared war so far because we wish to maintain friendly relationships with you. Ugrasena, the king of kings, commands you to free the boy and hand him over to us peacefully. Those who have risen in our favors are now shamelessly commanding us, not in when Indra, the king of the Devas can take from the Kauravas what they do not wish to give, said the Kauravas. The Kauravas were making fun of Balarama. So king of kings, indeed, because we are related to them by Prita's marriage, we eat and sleep with them and now they want to be our equals. It seems as if under the influence of time, even a shoe will want to get upon a head adorned with a diadem. And the Kauravas left. Come, let us not waste any time here. And turning to their backs on Balarama, the Kauravas walked away, 
Balarama became indignant with wrath. I came here with the intention of settling the matter peacefully, but the proud, vicious, quarrelsome Kauravas, intoxicated by wealth and power, do not desire it to so do so. They are the shoes and they are heads. Indeed, they shall be brought to their senses with the punishment they deserve, thought Balarama. These jal witted Kauravas will have been cited Krishna. My beloved brother Krishna, the Lord of Goddess Lakshmi, whose orders are obeyed by all the celestials, said Balarama. And raising himself with his full height, he took up his plowshare. Today I shall render the earth void of the Kauravas, thought Balarama. And uprooting the city of Kauravas, pushed it into the Ganges. Caught in the current, the city began to whirl. What is this? Where are we? said the villagers to themselves. Only then did Kauravas realize what had happened to them. It's Balarama. His plowshare has dragged the entire city into the Ganges. He plans to exterminate the Kauravas, said the Kauravas. The Kauravas had a hurried conference and it would be wiser to give in and seek his mercy, said Dhritarashtra to the Kauravas. It would be, where is Samba? Release him and bring him, bring Lakshmana here with him. When the two were brought, O oh Balarama, O oh Rama, you are the support of all. We have been foolish, vain and wicked, forgive us, said the Kauravas. We seek your protection, have mercy on us, we bow to you, said the Kauravas. When he saw the anxious, trembling Kauravas bow before him, Balarama was delighted. Then, fear not, I shall take you to the safety. And with his flow share, Balarama pushed the city back towards the shore. As soon as Hastinapura was back at its original site, Lakshmana, go, go with Samba, who has won you in a fair fight. Duryodhana then gave Balrama presents of elephants, horses and the chariots. May the Kauravas and the Yadavas be remain ever friendly. And taking the young couple, Balrama returned to Dwarka. So this was the story of Balrama published in Adarsh Chatrakatha. We'll back again with a new story. This is your Chanda Mama signing off from you all guys. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel in case if you have not. Thank you.